Okay, if you want a good appetizer for your holiday party, how about beer and cheese pretzels? Yes! Yes! Beer, cheese, Great. cheese, and rum is the best. He is the chief sausage officer. I mean, that's not a Indeed. title they just have out. Uh, yes, yeah, I left it all real. for the title. Yeah. Left it all totally for the yeah. title. So. He's with Vaughn Elrods. If you haven't been there, they're right across from Sound Stadium. Relatively new place. Been around for a few months. Mm -hmm. But boy, you guys, so your whole atmosphere yes. is like, you know, a little beer garden. Got yeah. Your homemade sausages. Yeah, we uh, we have a great butchery program there. A full bakery where we bake pretzels five times a day and all communal seating. We just want to, uh, we're all about sharing and having great apps and big beers and a big time. So. I Clearly. Quit. They go big. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when doing the beer cheese, tell us the secret. Yeah, it, it's first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some okay. uh, we're gonna add some uh, uh, is this cream, cream cheese? Cream, cream cheese right here. And this okay. is the secret right here. The cream it, cheese. The cream cheese. Mm. And we have to whip that up for just a couple of seconds okay. to get Put this. Uh, yeah, Got it? go ahead and go press high. Yeah. So we want to get some air into the cream cheese so you can actually spread your pretzels oh, right. and your dip through that. So, oh, nice. So, okay. yep, so right there we go. We'll just Which turn. Is probably why it's smart to use a processor because it gets that whipping exactly. as opposed to just softening your cream yeah, cheese. Yeah, you, don't, you don't want that to happen. Ooh, look how so, pretty that right, is. That, there you go. So then, this is a, such a great recipe. It's sim very similar to pimento okay. with a little bit more robust and bold flavors. What was that? That's Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Oh, okay. uh, we have a little black pepper. Black pepper. And we have some salt. Nice. Excellent. We have some garlic, which is going to punch up that flavor quite a bit. Ooh. A little yeah. bit of onion in there as well. Good. Uh, we're gonna have add a little bit of cayenne because we like this a little spicy. Ooh, that was a lot. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a little Tabasco just to wow. really reinforce that, and okay, a little bit of mustard this? powder. Mustard, okay. The, well, another little item we like to add to Very that. Nice. So we'll just throw all that back in there. Okay. And we'll throw that on high again. There you go. Oh, we'll you're inspiring me to get the food processor out of the box. Oh yeah, these are great. <laughs> in a box Keep it easy. Way. Shred that cheese first, and then go right in there for the beer. I never use mine. I never use mine. I need I to love use it them. more. I love them. So you just kind of whip that up for okay. a few seconds and then let cool. everything come together. And, and I think we're just about there. All right. And then we'll go ahead and add yeah, some. How much what shredded type, is what going in here? What cheese do you like? Um, I like a shredded, uh, sharp yellow cheddar. So okay. an shredded, aged, sharp yellow yeah, cheddar. Like, I like the aged And this kind. is a lot. Like how many cups? This is about three cups right here. Okay. And we're going to probably not add all of this. You, okay. You can probably, this might be a, a make this two times in this size gotcha. of a, a food processor here. And we'll just go ahead and add that right back on. And we'll turn that on. Excellent. <laughs> and that, that should start coming together. And yeah. what we'll do is we'll just add, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little beer to that. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Okay. This is a Smith & Lentz, which is a local Pilsner. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I, like the, I like the three of Oh, hey, guess what? On. <laughs> Got oh, a little, oh, yeah. There we, we go. go. There we go. All right, let's uh, turn that back on. Got it. Pour it in. Kelly's poured a beer like twice in her life, so she can get this done. Perfect. You there you go. All right, there we go. There we go. Now you got to put the lid back on. Uh, yeah, let's put the lid back yeah. on real quick. Well, Look, well, I, almost, you I almost <laughs> did. I almost went for it, and then I thought, gosh, that could be a mess. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's. Got it? Maybe? Uh, oh. No, it stopped. Uh-oh. There well, we, we go. We get the idea. You whip it all together. There it is. There we go. There we go. So the beer is going to loosen that up a little bit. That's a, a great tip. Put a little yes. bit of beer in there. And then there we go. That's so, it? So, yeah, that's it. That's so really easy. We'll just uh, scrape the sides down to try to get all that incorporated mm, in there. Just planning ahead. That looks Can't really good. Perfect. Get some pretzel Chasing bites. Out. really mm -hmm. good. I'm very excited about that. Excellent. We're bringing and that. And we have some of it right over here with our fresh Talk? baked pretzels. Yeah, so you make these. We do. We every do. Every day in-house. Yeah, we uh, do that five times a day in our bakery area. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and. Uh, got it. I got it. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> got it. <laughs> hazard, hazard pay over here. Hazard pay. Oh, my so, God. So, yeah, absolutely. And we have uh, we also serve them with mustard and a little garlic butter as well at the restaurant. And so, uh, but they're, they're mm. fantastic. We this love them. This is incredible. Yeah. Lunch yeah. and dinner. I wanted to make sure everybody knows you're open New Year's Eve. If you're celebrating New Year's Eve with the city, Right there, yep. right in your backyard. Yeah, right like, next. Right next door. They've We're got right the beer garden. Yeah. The heaters are going to be That's out. Right, right across from the uh, First Tennessee Park home plate entrance. So there you go. Uh, we'll be right next to the concert. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, I'll tell absolutely. you what. Mm -hmm. I'm intrigued about the sausages, too. 
Oh, yeah. They look We're going incredible. In on those Go next. check them out. Von Elrod's right next to Tennessee Park. This one in the middle is made of ribeye. Is you that amazing? You can get the beer what? cheese recipe on todaynashville.com. I'm not double dipping. This is a fresh new uh -huh. right. Coming up.